Hey everybody, welcome back. It's that time of week, that time of the week where I show off my awesome comic book haul. Yay! Today we got 27 really cool books, man. Some really neat new things. Um, some issue number ones, a stellar variant near the end that I'm very excited about. And I'm kind of happy, you know, 27 books, man. A little bit bigger. It's a big week, I felt like. So I was like, oh crap, there's more than I wanted to spend, but whatever. Um, so I only made it to my main shop, a Comic Interlude, over on Waller Avenue in Lexington, Kentucky. Highly recommended, as are other comic book shops in town like A-Plus Comics and Heroes Realm. But, you know, that's my go-to, and that's the place I love with all the toys and stuff. You've seen it in the vlogs. Uh, if you've ever wanted to shop there virtually, check out my vlogs. You get a good look at it. But um, I guess, you know, I should just get right to it. So without further ado, here's what I got. Okay, so here we go. So excited for this. Didn't know it was happening, but as soon as I saw it, I got very excited. We have issue number zero of Ash versus the Army of Darkness. So that ought to be pretty freaking sweet or groovy, right? Um, 99 cent special from S-Smart, love it. Okay, issue number two of Bane Conquest. This ought to be a pretty fun one. Uh, it's interesting, it's Nolan. Of course, it's. I don't think it's the Nolan, they are a writer. Nah, no, Christopher Nolan one, it's a different writer, right? You guys let me know. Anyways, very cool cover, excited to start reading this one. New today, God, I can't, I gotta break that habit. Uh, we got Batman, number 24. Uh, every epilogue is a prelude. So I liked this cover a little bit better than the other. You know, I like the full color one on this one, so that's what I got. Bullseye, number five, still doing the running with the devil thing. Jumping off a helicarrier that's rocketing missiles down at him. Okay, sweet G.I. Joe style um, backpack there. Like it. Champions, number nine, still a big fan of this one. Need to get reading on it, though. I'm a little bit behind. Cover art's a little interesting, because I thought we've seen a cover just like this before, maybe with a different character in color. So maybe that's a thing they're doing. Daredevil, 21. And I, is that Luke Cage? I can't quite tell. I haven't read this. I don't know where we're going in the story, but that would be pretty sweet if it is. Anxious to find out. And we complete this, apparently, uh, The Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, with book nine. Now, they didn't really have any variants out. I'm sure there are variants for this, but I have not been able to, you know, I didn't really have a chance to find them in the one shop I went to. But still, since it's a complete run, I'm gonna have to give this thing a read and see what I think now. Doctor Strange number 20, this cover is so busy. There's so much going on in it. But at the same time, you know, I'm kind of a bit of a completist, so I'm trying to capture all these and read what I can. Haven't started reading this yet, but now that we're up to issue number four of Extremity, we will have to check this out. This comic is very, or this cover is very interesting. All the covers to this have been very, very interesting, and I'm kind of anxious to get in here and see what it's all about. That's for Shaw. Shaw? I don't know. Part six of six, The Fall and Rise of Captain Adam. So I can finally read this thing, now that we've completed it, as long as I didn't miss issue number three, like I think I might have. I've got to figure that out. But um, pretty cool cover. I dig that, actually. I think that may be the best of the covers I've seen on that. New today, issue number one, Game of Thrones, A Clash of King. Uh, so this is basically the comic retelling of a, a book two of A Song of Ice and Fire. If I'd known that, I would have picked up all the book one ones because this would be pretty cool to read. But maybe I'll go back and do it. But anyways, I am going to collect these now. So lots of variants on this one. They're all kind of cool, but I just went with this one. All new Guardians of the Galaxy, number three, Badass Gamora. Uh-oh, friends buried in sand? That could be bad. Is that... No, I don't know. I thought that was Vision for a second, but I don't think so. Should be pretty fun read, all these things. Check this out. How come nobody told me? I'm so glad I caught this. A Guar comic book. Yes. Absolute yes, yes, yes. Issue number one. Very, very cool stuff. Parental advisory. The art style's off, but I mean, for Guar, it's kind of cool. So I don't know if the book is actually that art style or not. I didn't actually thumb through it. I just got excited and bought my Guar comic. Orgasmageddon. I love that title, too. Harley Quinn, number 21. I like this cover a little bit better than the other, so of course I went with it, which is kind of a duh thing for me to say, but that's the truth. Iron Fist, number four. Ooh, we're, apparently we're gonna get in his head. <laughs> wah, wah. But um, yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty fun read, so I'm excited to start checking that one out as soon as I can. Love this cover for Jessica Jones, number nine. I love that she's flipping off, but it's under the used book sticker. Just the art style on that. I love when they do like these faux vintage kind of cover art. I just think that's so cool. Make it look like an old Pulp Fiction novel. And this is a variant edition. They didn't have the common or I would have bought that too. But I love this. This is actually what they put in my pool box. So thank you guys for giving me the variant. What? I'm not even a huge fan of Kiss or anything, but I thought, how can I not? I mean, and I'm not knocking them. If you're into them, that's totally cool. I do dig some of their stuff. Just saying I'm not a huge fan. Uh, but Kiss, versus, Kiss and Vampirella, yeah, that had to happen. That had to happen. And I'll keep buying those until it's done because that should just be really cool. A few variants on this too, but I just like this one. I like the colors on it, so I went with that. I think it's the common cover too, but whatever. Nova, number seven. Ooh, ooh, Nova versus Nova. Okay, that can be very interesting. I'm definitely excited to read that one. 
And Rocket number two. I think this is going to be a fun series. I liked um, the Grounded Rocket Raccoon series, which I guess is over after just a few issues. We haven't had a new one in a while. But um, anyways, this should be fun. Nice cover too. Still picking up Savage Things. We now have four issues, so I'm going to have to get in here and see if it's something I like and want to keep collecting or not. But the covers are pretty interesting. It's definitely a different style from anything else I get, so that's pretty cool. So, of course, I went back. Once I figured out Screaming Citadel was running across the books, we have part two of five, so now I should have parts one through three, and I'll keep my eyes peeled to collect the rest. I need to be buying the Star Wars books anyways, because, I mean, come on, Star Wars, right? I just got into it a little too late, but I'll get caught up on them eventually. Plus, we got Dr. Aphra, so cool. Darth Vader number one, new series starting today. Very, very excited to start reading this. I mean, they already did a Darth Vader run, and they did Vader down. They did all kinds of stuff, but now we're going to start a whole new run. I'm not complaining. I like me some Vader. Can't get enough. Unstoppable Wasp number six. I still need to get caught back up on this because I really liked what little I've read, but I've not read much more beyond that lately. So uh, I'm just really behind on all my reading. Need to get it handled. All right, Walking Dead 168. Oh God, this cover is so intriguing to me. <laughs> if I had the time, I'd sit down right now and read like all 30 issues behind and get caught up, but I don't have the time. I'm making YouTube videos. Takes a lot of my life away. Um, also got an awesome variant for this, the last one they had, and I'm so excited about it. The Pride cover with Jesus and a pride flag. I mean, that is awesome. That is awesome. They even like rainbowed the title and everything. That is so cool. And I was just excited to get it. And it was like on the shelf. I didn't have to pay more for it. So yay. Uh, one-off, I guess it's a one-off. Maybe it's not. Uh, Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor special. That's why I figure it's a, a one-off. Um, but that should be pretty cool, especially after seeing the awesome movie and just totally falling in love with it. And last one, X-Men Gold, issue number five. Yeah, I still, I don't love the art style they're doing with these, but you know, I do want to read it and have fun doing so. So anyways, there you go guys, that's what I got. Alright, so there you go, pretty good stuff, right? Especially that Walking Dead variant, I'm just really happy about that. And the Guar comic, how cool is that? Kiss Vampirella? Cool haul. I'm just really excited with the haul I got this time. So let me know, guys, what are you excited about? What are you reading? Which ones of these are you anxious for? Which ones uh, did you know about that I didn't? All that kind of stuff. Geek out with me in the comments. That's what I like to have happen. I like to hear your thoughts on things. So, you know, I can talk about it in the vlogs or in future videos or maybe get back to you on occasion. As you know, I'm trying. Um, but anyways, just let me know. Geek out. Cool? Cool. Click the thumbs up button. Give me that thumb of encouragement. I do love to be encouraged. I guess I'm going to get out of here because I got a hell of a lot of reading to do. And I'll see you all later.